guys, thanks for visiting. This is your week for July the 16th. I'm trying to say July, July the 16th to July 22nd. And as I always ask you very politely, hopefully, if you like the stream, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you would like to, only if you'd like to. And I have everything ready. I'm going to start your reading for lovely Aquarius people. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. Um, first card you have your past is the Seven of Wands. Um, Yes, I'm just seeing people maybe seeing you as... This man's up on a hill, He's he seems like he's under attack, but actually he's not seeing who's attacking him. So I'm seeing that... Um, I'm actually seeing people not seeing you as you actually were at this time. That's um, what I'm seeing. I hope that makes sense. Um, maybe... Um, <clears throat> excuse me. You could have um, moved on from an old way of life or something like that or from an old way of thinking or something, but someone, maybe even more than one person, might have been seeing you as, you know, you were a long time ago or something like that. Maybe you were, maybe you were very different a long time ago, or maybe you just grew and changed, which we all do, of course. But I'm seeing people who saw you as, you know, you were before you changed, so it could have felt like maybe some people were attacking you. I'm not seeing anyone meant to attack you, but I am seeing that that's how it could have felt from you. They might have been saying things like, oh, remember when you did this thing years ago, and ha ha ha, weren't you, or something very, or might be something serious, I don't know. But they were kind of reminding you of the old you, which isn't who you were at this time. Um, I am seeing a lot of growth here, but... Um, it's like you were up on this hill, like this man on this card. But these people were seeing you as someone who hadn't even climbed up the hill yet. You were still down the bottom of the hill. Um, and maybe they were trying to bring you back to something you've moved on from. That's what I keep on seeing. Um, this could be this could be about family members, actually, or old friends. Because I'm seeing this is about people who uh, you could have known for years. Um, you've, they've known you all your life, obviously, if they know what you've done years ago. Um, you were misunderstood by these people. I'm seeing them misunderstanding you, not knowing who you truly are or were at this time. Um, again, I'm not seeing anyone deliberately trying to attack you, but I'm seeing that it probably felt like that. It felt like you were under attack. That's what I'm seeing on this card. Um, the next card you have your post is the Four of Swords. So yes, look at this poor man lying down here. Or this is a statue of a man. I'm actually seeing exhaustion here with this card. Yes, people had some kind of perception of you at this time, and I'm actually seeing um, maybe they were undermining your capabilities, or maybe they were saying, you remember when you were so hopeless at this? You couldn't possibly do that now. I have a friend who struggled when they were learning to drive, and their father, and they learned, obviously they can drive everywhere now and there's no problem, but their father still says to them, oh, you couldn't even drive when you, and so that kind of thing, like though bringing you back to a time when you weren't able to do something, but you can do something. You can more than do whatever this is. It might be something like that. Um, yeah, I'm, yeah, people underestimating you, I'm seeing. Um, the message I'm seeing in this card is that you don't have to worry about what anyone thinks. Obviously, you don't. Just don't worry about what people think. It's all about them, usually. It's usually about how they feel about themselves. And it has nothing to do with how you actually are inside of yourself. Um, just look at this statue. Look at this man on this card. He is golden. He's made of gold. Look at the difference. He's gold. Look at the surroundings he's in. Grey, brown, stone. These are the surroundings you're in. You're surrounded by these grey people, <laughs> these kind of stone people. But you are golden. That's how you were inside. You're very different from these people. And they weren't seeing that. That's what I'm seeing. So internally, you're golden. Inside yourself, that's how you are. You're golden. These people couldn't see that. So yes, if this resonates and you're still around these people, obviously try to limit your time with these people. They're exhausting you. Look at this poor man lying down. Um, Whoever this is or whoever these people are bringing you down, um, they might not mean to be bringing you down, but this is what this is the effect they're having on you. So try to distance yourself from these people. And know your worth. You're golden. You're golden inside. That's what I'm seeing from this card. The last card you have for your past is the Wheel of Fortune. I love this card because it means, you know, who knows what it means? It can be up and down, round and round. Anything could happen. Sometimes it's karma. It could go over different things like that. Um, I'm actually seeing a link. 
you have a link with someone or you had at this time you probably still do have this link um, you've had a lot of ups and downs with this person that's what I'm seeing in this wheel turning around one minute it's up next minute it's down that kind of thing this could be a love situation I'm seeing I'm seeing that you know you could have been going over and over some kind of problem with someone it's like you oh we've been here before we're back discussing this again oh now it's over oh now we're back discussing this again do we have to keep on going backwards and forwards that's the kind of thing I'm seeing around this card and yes, things seem resolved and then they come back again, that kind of thing, this repeated pattern going over and over again. Um, and I'm just seeing you coming back to the same issue with them again. You might have been, you might have even um, broken up a few times and gone back together or you might have distanced yourself, taken some time out, gotten back together again, that kind of thing. I am seeing this is going to finally resolve itself if it hasn't already. I know this is in your past but this card can go, I'm seeing this might be going into future so you know you might have gone backwards and forwards with someone in the past but then you might resolve this sometime in your future. You probably will I'm seeing. Um, Yes, again, I'm seeing you might be separated or you might have been separated from them at this time. Um, there might be a chance or a coincidence that brings you back together again. And this might enable you to maybe work through this as an, and fix this problem once and for all. Um, I say coincidence, but I'm actually... I don't think anything's a coincidence, really. I think that you actually... Things happen for a reason. You know, if things show up in front of you, if you see a billboard, if you see a sign... If you see something, if you speak to someone, it's all for a reason. That's why I'm seeing. So it might seem like there's some kind of coincidence and it might bring you back together. And that might help you to finally resolve whatever this is. That's what I'm seeing. I hope that makes sense. The first card you have your present is the Page of Swords. So yes, look at these two hills. Look at these two hills. The Seven of Wands, the man standing on a hill, and the Page of Swords man is also up standing on a hill. But the Page of Swords man is very, very defensive. He has this sword. So, yes, that's a reflection of what was going on in the Seven of Wands. So, yes, you're high up. You're high up on a hill, like this man. You'll still be feeling defensive. Defensive, you might be feeling still a little bit attacked by these people. This is in your head because I'm seeing that you're not around these people at this time. Sometimes people can say all sorts of things and they stay in your head for a lot longer um, and in your emotions for a lot longer than you know what actually happened. Sometimes think people can say things in one second, but they can drag on in your head for years and years and years sometimes. Um, remember who you are, you're golden. If you're still feeling defensive, attacked, if you're still upset inside your head, you are golden. Remember that. Look at the Four of Swords. Never ever let anyone else um, define you, even if it's imagined, even if you're imagining that that's what they're doing, even if they're defining you and it's all completely false. Don't let anyone define you. You are golden. That's what I'm seeing. The next card you have for your present is the Nine of Swords. Yes, this is a really sad card. And, you know, even more swords I'm seeing. Um, so words, difficult words. Um, yes, I'm seeing someone around you who um, they think that they're unwell or they feel that they're not as well as they actually are. This could be, um, they might be unwell and obviously if someone's really unwell you, you need to take them seriously but maybe they're not as ill as they actually imagine that they are, that's what I'm seeing. They might be taking themselves or, or talking themselves into things, talking themselves into things. They might be taking themselves a lot more or taking the situation a lot more serious than it, seriously than it is. They might be saying, oh I've got this wrong with me, oh now I've got a sore back, oh now I've got this. Oh, I'm going to look it up on, I'm going to Google these symptoms. Oh no, I've got, you know, it's it's that kind of thing. And I'm seeing that because if you look at this woman in this card, her hair's going grey, her hair's grey, but it's prematurely grey, look at that. Look at this woman's hands, look at this woman's face, look at her neck, look at her posture. Even though she's bending over because she has her head in her hands, her body and everything else and her hands and everything else, 
do not look like an older woman, they look like a young woman. So she's prematurely grey. And what's going on, what's making her think, oh, I'm decrepit, I'm older, I've got this wrong with me, whatever. This is in her head, because her hair is grey, but the rest of her body does not match up to her hair. Also, I'm seeing that, um, yes, if you look at this as well, the swords are going through her head. So this is, a lot of this is in her imagination. Now, I'm not saying that this person's kind of just imagining everything and there's nothing wrong with them. There might be something wrong with them. But I am seeing that they're imagining that things are a lot worse than they are. This person might be talking themselves into all sorts of problems and, you know, looking up symptoms, talking on and on. Sometimes the more people talk about things, oh, I've got this thing wrong with me, oh, it's so bad, oh, blah, 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 blah. And they talk themselves into making it worse. The more you, the more energy you give to something, the bigger and the bigger and the bigger it gets. And that's what I'm seeing is happening with this person. They might have some mental health problems. They might have something like that it might not be that serious they might just have some kind of hypochondriac kind of um, things going on um, so yes I'm seeing people around them as well trying to talk to them trying to help them trying to kind of say no it might not be that bad maybe go and see a doctor maybe go and find out for sure what this is once you have a diagnosis then you'll know but don't go oh I've got this terrible but they're not listening to anyone. I'm seeing that they're rejecting people's suggestions. So yes, they might have to see a profess professional or something like that. I hope they will. Um, but I hope I hope they'll realize this um, because this is really stressing them out. This is stressing them a lot. Look how terrible this poor woman's feeling in this car. This is stressing this person out. It's also stressing out people around them. So I hope they do see what's happening eventually. But, you know, sometimes these people do talk them into things. I hear of these people who, you know, they turn a certain age and they say, oh, I'm old now, so I'm going to be old, I'm going to have a sore back, I'm going to have a sore this, I'm going... Not necessarily. There are people who are incredibly fit. There are people who are in their 60s, 70s, and they're, you know, they're, they're doing weights and they're running around and they're they're amazingly fit and healthy. It doesn't have to be like that, but sometimes people categorize themselves and they say, to them, oh, I'm this now, I have to, no, no, no. So yes, I'm seeing that might be what's happening who, with whoever this is. They're talking themselves into something as they talk on and on. They're making the situation worse than it has to be. I hope they resolve this. The last card you have for your present is the Ace of Wands. So yes, communication, lots of communication. The aces are very, very strong cards. Obviously, they're the strongest cards in the whole pack. So yes, this is an ace. This is a big turning point for you. I'm seeing um, this is some important communication for you. I'm seeing that this is the start of some important communication. So this is communication that's going to go on and on into your future. This is going to lead to something very important for you. I'm seeing some kind of crucial decision that you're going to have to make. This might be about this person in the Wheel of Fortune because I was seeing that you're going to get together and you're going to discuss things with them again. It might not be, um, but it probably, it could be I'm seeing. I'm, it could be about this person. Um, Yes, because you are going to be reuniting with someone and you are going to be talking with them. So that makes sense that it could be that person. Um, things aren't going to go backwards and forwards this time. The Ace of Wands is about pushing forward. There's no going back with the Ace of Wands. And it's fast and it's furious and it's happening. So again, um, yes, things aren't going to go backwards. They're going to go forwards with this person. I am seeing a re resolution is going to happen. There is going to be a resolution. You're going to have to make a decision around something to do with this person. Um, there's going to be a lot of talking before this happens. So there might be on and off talks as well. Um, it is going to be fast in the way of it is going to be resolved, but there are going to be a lot of talks that lead up to that resolution. That's what I'm seeing. Um, yes. When it ends, it's going to be fast. When it ends, it's going to be fast. There might be a lot of talks that lead up to this ending and it might take some time, but at the end, once you've made a decision, you're going to make it quickly. That's what I'm seeing in the Ace of Wands. I hope that makes sense. The first card you have for your future is the King of Pentacles. So yes, yes, even though it is going to be 
a quick decision at the end. There is going to be a lot leading up to that decision. I'm seeing that again in this King of Pentacles. Um, take your time with this. Don't let anyone rush you with this. That's This is the message I'm getting from this King of Pentacles. Um, if you look at this king, obviously he's in a very comfortable place. He's sitting on his throne. He has everything he needs. He's like just sitting there, gold all over him, grapes all around him. Um, it's taken a lot, of, a lot of time for him to get to this position. He's planned things. He's worked through a lot of things. He's worked very hard to get him to where he is over a long period of time. So if this resonates, take as long as you need with this communication. I know I was saying a snap decision. I don't mean you're going to quickly make a decision. I'm I mean that you're going to build up to this decision and when it finally happens you're going to make it quickly when you've made up your mind but it is going to take a lot of time to get to that place that's what i'm seeing also don't let anyone persuade you or influence you do what's best for you you might have to take some time away from some of these talks for a while if you're having these talks in the ace of wands with whoever this is and someone's trying to make you um, make a decision quickly or they're trying to influence you in some way you might have to say look i'm not comfortable with this i'm going to take some time out and then come back to this again when i feel better there's nothing wrong with doing that take all the time you need make sure your heads are very clear you might have to go away and clear your head and come back again that's what i'm seeing the next card you have your future is the five of swords yes um yes look at this tricky person again i'm seeing someone could be trying to persuade you to make a decision very quickly to make a decision that suits them and not you um this could be around this love situation again in the wheel of fortune i'm not seeing the pressures coming from that person in the wheel of fortune I'm seeing the, pos the, the pressure could be coming from someone outside of that, outside forces. Someone might not be happy with you talking to this person again. That's what I'm seeing. This person doesn't have your best interests, whoever this is, if, if this is someone outside of this situation. They're thinking about themselves. That's what I'm seeing. Look at how smug this man's face is and he's taking away all of these people's swords. Don't let anyone persuade you to say anything or do anything or make any decision that doesn't feel 100% right for you if they're starting to do that if they say oh well i think this is the best for you you should do this and that you say well let me think about that i need to take my time to think about that there's nothing wrong with that don't let this person or whoever this is make you hurry your decision um yes the last card you have for your future is the three of wands so yes, I'm repeating myself again. Look at this man, he's sitting there, he's patient or he's standing there, he's looking over the water, there's emotion involved in this. So this could be around this person with a wheel of fortune, this could be a past relationship. Don't let anyone rush you. Stand on the edge of the water, take as long as you like, contemplate, think about this, really take your time. That's what I'm seeing. Don't let anyone rush you, don't let anyone hurry you. Take all the time you need. That's what I'm seeing again. Um, the longer you take on this decision, the more certain you'll be. And you need to be 100% certain that this is what you want to do yourself, nobody else. That's what I'm seeing. So Aquarius, I hope this resonated. Um, as you know, general readings can't always resonate with everyone. But again, if you like this reading, as I always say, please like or subscribe or leave a comment if you'd like to. Thank you so, so, so much for watching.